Hi everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel again. I hope you all are well and subscribe to my channel. If not, so just do it now. Guys, today I'm going to unboxing this SATA SSD and also install this SATA SSD in my HP 840Z2 laptop. Hope you enjoy this video. So, let's start the video. So guys first I'm going to open the packet and let's see what is inside the packet. Guys I brought it from $26 and it is available on Aliexpress and Amazon. You'll find this product link in this video description. If you want to know more specification or buy this product then you can visit that link. So here is the laser pen SATA solid state drive and inside the packet nothing. On the back side a paper I think it's user manual of this uh, SSD. This user manual is written in many different languages. English, French, Danish and other many languages. So here is the SSD. At the front side of this drive, Lexer brand logo. And at the back side, 2.5 inch SSD SATA, 6 GB per second, and its model is NS100. On the SSD box, NS100. Here is the serial number with the barcode. This product made in China, rated DC plus 5 volt. 1.6 ampere and here is one warning this product can be damaged by electrostatic discharge ESD so now I'm going to open my laptop back part and install this SATA SSD Guys, here you can see I already installed M.2 SSD. This M.2 SSD was Crunch and Brand. You will find this M.2 SSD install video link in this video description. So now I am going to open the, my regular HDD. Now I am opening all the screws. Guys, to remove this SSD, I need to remove this battery first. So I am going to remove my laptop battery. Okay, here is the SSD. So now I'm going to install SATA SSD. Just place the SSD in this way and just push. Now it's installed. Guys, you can attach this case with this SSD or you can just install in this way. If you like to attach this case, then open this screw. Then just remove the case. Here is the HDD. After that, place the SSD in this way. And then tighten the screw. Ok, now place the SSD in this way and just push. After that, tight all the SSD case screw. Now install the battery. Guys, installing process of SSD is really so simple. So now I'm going to turn on my laptop and show you the setup and format process of this SSD. So guys, after install SSD on your laptop, turn on your laptop and go to your my computer. 
If you see your SSD drive then you no need to do anything. But if you do not see your SSD drive on your my computer then right click on your my computer icon and click on manage. By the way guys I am using Windows 10 Pro version. After go to the manage page click on disk management and here you will see your SSD drive. If your drive is not showing here then unplug or uninstall your SSD and install it again. So here you can see my 120GB SSD drive is showing but my SSD drive is unallocated. Guys when you install SSD drive first time on your laptop you may see your SSD drive showing unallocated. But don't worry to active your SSD click on your SSD drive and you may see initialized disk notification. If you see this notification click ok. Do not click on the cancel button. Now again right click on your SSD drive and select new simple volume. Then next. If you want to make your SSD drive as a single drive then click on next. You can change your drive later from here. Then next. From here you can change your drive format style. You can change your drive name from here. And leave other option as it is. And click next. And finish. Now here you can see my SSD drive is now active. So if you do the same process that I have shown then your SSD drive will be activated without any problem. Here you can see my 120GB SSD drive is showing. So now I am going to transfer a file to show you my SSD drive speed. Ok this file, this file size is 961MB almost 1GB. So copy and paste. Here you can see the file transferring speed. So that's all now I hope you are able to install and set up SSD in your laptop. Beside this I hope you find this tutorial helpful. If you are please click on the like button. If you have any question please comment below. Subscribe now for more upcoming tech videos of this channel. So thanks for watching this video. Please stay safe at home. See you in the next video.